Today we're going to teach you how to make personalized fridge magnets like these. They're easy and fun to create and make great affordable gifts for your loved ones. First, pick some images from your digital camera or pictures that you have scanned into your computer. They can be photos of your kids growing up, images of an event, some shots from your travels, anything you want. Now you'll need some magnets. These are ceramic 1 inch by 3 fourths of an inch and cost around $1.50 Canadian plus tax at craft stores. You can use any other type and size of magnet you want, but I suggest you stick to rectangular or square shapes for now. You will need scissors, a ruler or measuring tape, a kitchen sponge, and Mod Podge. Mod Podge is an all-in-one glue and varnish that can be bought at most craft stores. It costs around 5 to 13 Canadian dollars depending on the size of container. If you decide to print the magnet images yourself, you'll need photo paper. I like to use non-glossy photo paper like Epson's 8.5 by 11 matte heavyweight paper. It costs around $20 at Staples for a pack of 50, but you can use any other photo paper as long as it's not too glossy. Take note of the dimensions of your magnets by measuring with your ruler. Next, go to your computer and open an image editing program or desktop publishing program such as Photoshop or Microsoft Publisher. Start a new project. Make sure the dimensions of the file are the same as your paper size. My paper is 8.5 by 11. Make sure the resolution is set to print quality or 300 dpi. Import one of your photos and paste it into the document you created. Resize the image so that it's a little bit bigger than the dimensions of your magnets. You can use the rulers feature of the software to make sure you've got the sizing right. If you have more photos, import them and resize them the same way. You'll end up with a file that looks something like this. If you have no photo editing software, you can go to your local print shop and they'll be able to resize and print your photos for you. Each page should cost around $3 to print, but ask how much labor costs before you hand over your files. When your paper is printed, you can cut out one of the images for your magnet. If you resize the image as well, they will be just a little bit bigger than the magnet. Grab your sponge and dip it into the Mod Podge. Coat one side of the magnet with a Mod Podge. Wait a few seconds, then put the image onto the glue. Wait for around 30 minutes for the Mod Podge to dry. When dry, trim off the edges of the picture with your scissors, then coat the top and sides with Mod Podge to seal it in. When your last coat of Mod Podge is dry, you have your personalized magnet. 